Hello, everyone. Namaste. I'm sorry not to be able to be with you in person this week. But as you know, you're in great hands with Ravi, Saurabh, Ashvin, and the rest of our amazing team. They are continuing a partnership that began nearly a century ago. Since the 1930s, the Rockefeller Foundation has partnered with Indian changemakers to develop solutions to transform people's lives. Together, we have invested in big bets to further the Gandhian principle that every person should be treated with dignity and be able to build a sustainable future. Together, we've made bold, ambitious goals to further people's well being. We found novel advances that help achieve those goals. We've built alliances to help scale those advances. And we've measured our progress along the way. A couple of years ago, the foundation made the biggest bet in its history to launch the Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet, alongside our partners from the IKEA Foundation, the Bezos Earth Fund, and many, many other institutions around the world. GAP is focused on connecting everyone across India and around the world to renewable, reliable electricity. If we can do that, we can provide better healthcare, education, and most importantly, better jobs and livelihoods. GAP's work in India builds on the Rockefeller Foundation's efforts to increase access to affordable, reliable energy in the country, which began more than 15 years ago. With partners across India, we've helped install solar-powered mini-grids in hundreds of villages. That experience taught us that customers will pay for affordable, reliable power, and that mini-grid projects can be commercially viable. Most importantly, it has shown us what these customers do with that power. Small business owners use the energy to invest in power tools or buy electric sewing machines. They hire new workers. They start night school programs so girls can read at night. They perform additional medical procedures to help their communities. These individual choices spur the kind of economic growth that can lift up everyone, families, communities, and over time, entire societies. It is a remarkable development dividend for our investments. We should be making more investments like these. This week, all of you can help us determine how to do so how to make sure that India's efforts to achieve net zero emissions by 2070 also increases economic opportunity and advances human progress for every Indian family. As you identify ways to do that, the Rockefeller Foundation, our partners at GAP, and others around the world will be here to support you. We look forward to continuing to work with all of you to accelerate the adoption of clean, reliable, and affordable energy in a way that fundamentally advances human opportunity and expands the reach of dignity. I wish you very productive dialogues. Thank you. Namaste.